It's been a hard shift of a guess in pre-season and through the League Cup games. How are you and the squad feeling right now? Yeah, we're feeling good. We're feeling fit anyway. Um, certainly a lot of boys have played a lot of minutes just for the, the size of squad we have. But, you know, that's what we want to do. We're, we're footballers at the end of the day and that's what we enjoy doing. So, you know, we also finished the, the group stage not how we wanted to, but in a positive frame of mind in terms of going and getting a good performance and, and the result up against a, a strong Cali team. So, you know, from that, we take that positives from that game. And, you know, we're just learning, you know, how the gaffer wants us to play. He's still learning about us, so still early days in terms of that that tenure. So, you know, it was it was nice to at least come out of that game feeling a bit more positive uh, going into the first league game. I mean, I guess you've only had ten or twelve training sessions. You've had the, the the few matches with the manager. Is it inevitable that it takes a little while for all that to settle down? Yeah, you know, I think we had two training sessions before our first pre-season game with uh, the gaffer. So. You know, and you start playing games midweek as well. And th those numbers are limited in terms of being on the training ground and working on how he wants us to play and us getting used to that. You know, we, we were playing a formation last season and we played for so long. But, you know, you get used to that style, and but you know, when a new manager comes in, you have to adapt, uh, and yet it takes time to do that. So, you know, we're, we're still learning that. We're still we're still doing that. Still tweaks the formation just in games, but you know, I think we've had a, a good run of games now against good opposition. Opposition. It was a, it was a tough group, which. You know, I think we, we did perform well, obviously didn't get the results we wanted to at times, but you know, we're, we're getting there. Does that help you as players, do you think, the fact that you are having to try to adapt to different formations and, and different tactics? Does it help you grow as players? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think we're an experienced team that we've all been, had different managers with, with different uh, setups and, and, and styles and how they want to play, so we should be able to adapt pretty quickly. Um, with that experience throughout our squad, you know, we've got a lot of a lot of older heads in there that have played numerous games, so you know, it won't take us long. Um, there is, as we said, there are slight tweaks to the Cali game from the Celtic game, which which made a big difference. The like gaffer and, and, and Jimmy can see that from the side. We can obviously see it on the pitch as well. It's just you know we are molding ourselves to how we want to want to play going forward. And from your point of view, the game in Inverness not only back into a more traditional role for you, but getting off the mark for the season, which must have been important from your confidence. Yeah, yeah, I would say we were playing more on the, the wing, which kind of limits the, the chances in around the box, but it was nice to go play through the middle again. Uh, and, you know, when I play there, I feel I'm going to score goals, which, which I inevitably did on, on Saturday. Uh, it's where I've been playing for the last six years, so, you know, that's that's my, my bread and butter, shall we say. So, no, it was good. It was a good, uh, a good run out, uh, good for the legs and the lungs as well, and, you know, nice to cap off with a goal. Will there be a proud moment coming out on Saturday and seeing that flag being unfurled here at the stadium? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we obviously have led the team coming to League Two, led them into League One, and now lead them into the Championship. I find, you know, I always look back. I left the Championship six years ago, seven years, six years ago to, to come to Cove to get them back there, and you know, we'll have that opportunity to walk out on Saturday leading the team. Did you genuinely believe at that stage that you would return with Cove to that level? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess a bit of naive, he said, didn't think different to that. I always knew it would be a difficult challenge, but, you know, speaking to the, the chairman, I know his ambitions and, you know, how, how badly he wanted to see Cove get promoted. And, you know, I, I trained with the boys we have, you know, when I first came, we've seen new boys come in, add to us, and the quality we have here, you know, there was no reason why we couldn't step up the championship. It probably happened a lot sooner than I thought it would be, but, you know, when I see the, the kind of mentality we have here in terms of winning and just grinding out results, which you know, has been pretty present for the last three seasons in, in the Scottish leagues, you know, we, we definitely believe we could do that. As you mentioned, you've played at this level before. For a lot of the guys, this will this will be a, a first step. Um, and I've got to say that, that having watched them very closely in the matches so far this season, I'm actually really surprised at some of those guys that they haven't played at this level before. It shows yeah. how fine the margins are, I suppose, in professional football. Yeah, that's it. You know, I think for us, we, we speak about it a lot, and I think our sort of location up north east makes it a lot more difficult for our, for players up here to, to play championship. You know, obviously our growth of, of, of being there only the last couple of seasons. Other than that, you know, it's more central belt area, and unless you're living down there or willing to travel quite a lot, um, you know, that opportunities aren't quite, you know, come around as often as you know players that live local to the centre belt area and um, so I think that is probably ha half the reason why some of the players haven't played championship really because you, you look at the quality and, and on what they bring to the team you know other teams would snap up in a second there's no doubt about that so you know I think a lot a lot of factors come into play when it comes to the football in Scotland and, and that's certainly one of them. So there'll be this pride on Saturday ahead of the game against Wraith Rovers and then the whistle goes 
and then it's 36 matches. It's going to be yeah. a grueling campaign, I would imagine, um, one that all the guys are excited about. Yeah, absolutely. We, we always think the first game is lo I like no other. It's just there's no temper to it at all. It's just all runs go. It just you can't, trying to catch your breath from first minute to last. It happens all the time. I don't know why. It just just that excitement, I guess, of, of wanting to get back into it. But you know. Well, like you said, there's going to be a long, hard season. Uh, there's going to be some ups, there's going to be some downs. We're not going to get it our own way like like we sort of had in the past. We're going to have to work extremely hard for it. But we know that, like I touched on before, we're experienced. We've got players that have played in before, play, players that haven't played at this level. You know, could easily have done it. Now we're, you know, more than 200, 250 games under the belt. So we're a close-knit group as well. We'll, we'll do all right. Uh, but, you know, it's about getting your head down, working hard, which on and off the part, which they got from make sure we do.